Welcome to PowerPro TV, LSP's mechanism for training and application information. I'm Joe Holland from Life Safety Power, and this training video covers the FAI feature of the FPO power supply, how to connect it, how to use it. The fire alarm input, or FAI, is used to interface a fire alarm or other switch output to the FPO power supply. The FAI input is typically used to unlock egress doors in the event of a fire alarm condition, but may also be used to apply or remove a voltage to control other devices as well. When the FAI is active, a red LED will be eliminated on the FPO board. The DC2 output of the power supply is directly controlled by this input and may be turned either on or off by applying a dry contact or a voltage to the FAI input terminal strip. There is a fuse jumper on the FPO whose position determines whether that DC2 output is enabled or disabled by the FAI input. For use with a normally open relay contact, place a small jumper on the blue FAI terminal strip between the I plus and the V plus terminals. With the board held so that the FAI terminal strip is on the lower edge of the board, these will be the two terminal positions located on the right side of the blue terminal strip. With a normally open relay contact and the fuse jumper in the normally closed position, the voltage at the DC2 output will be disabled when the relay closes. Note that the green LED is on initially and goes to off when the relay is activated indicating that power has been removed from the DC2 output. If I move the fuse jumper to the NO position the DC2 output is normally disabled and a relay closure will enable the output voltage. The green LED is initially off and when the relay is activated the red LED turns on, the green LED turns on indicating power is available at the DC2 output. For use with a normally closed relay contact Place one small jumper on the blue FAI terminal strip between the I plus and the V plus terminals and a second small jumper between the V minus and the I minus terminals. The external normally closed relay will connect between these two jumpers as shown in the illustration. With the fuse jumper in the normally closed position, the voltage at the DC output will be disabled on a relay open. Note that the green LED is on and goes to off when the relay is activated, indicating that power has been disabled at the DC2 output. And I can reverse that operation by moving the fuse jumper to the normally open position. For use with a 9 to 30 volt DC input, apply the positive to the I plus terminal and the negative to the I minus terminal. No other wires or jumpers should be connected to the blue FAI terminal strip unless latching is desired which we'll cover later. The fuse jumper should be in the normally closed or NC position. We'll use the output of the FPO to activate the FAI. The FAI will activate when the voltage is applied in the correct polarity. The reverse polarity operation of a NAC loop can also be used to activate this input and the sink pulses on the NAC loop will be filtered out and ignored. Again, I can reverse the operation by moving the fuse jumper to the NO position. Canada requires a latching function on the FAI which will cause the FAI to remain activated until a secondary switch is operated. With the FPO, this extra switch is connected to the two L terminals 
at the left end of the terminal strip. Latching will work with any method of activating the FAI input, normally open or normally closed relay, as well as voltage activation. Activate, it latches, reset. The last topic I'd like to bring up is for those who have to open the egress doors on a fire alarm condition or on a loss of AC to the building. This can be accomplished with this connection where the AC fault from the FPO and the external fire alarm relay are both used to activate the FAI. The common and normally closed terminals of the FPO AC fault relay close on a loss of AC to the FPO and will activate the FAI. The external fire alarm relay will close on a fire alarm condition and also activate the FAI. All of this information can be found in Appendix 1 of the FPO installation manual or on the Life Safety Power website in app note number 27. Thanks for your time. I'm Joe Holland from Life Safety Power. Check back with us often for additional training, information, applications, and new product information. Click on any of these video links for related information.